Hey y'all, today I want to show you how I edit um, my backlit pictures during golden hour. And so in this video you're going to see how I go from this to this. And I also have two more examples. I might go over this picture, turn into this, and this one into this one. This one's my favorite how to just pop out all these backlit areas that are really beautiful, warm tones. Okay, so first, I'm using Lightroom Mobile just because I haven't switched over to the other one. I'm going to do Enable Lens Correction. You can already see how that changes it because I was using a 35 millimeter and remove chromatic aberration and you can tell I underexpose my pictures so that I can bring out more detail while editing and so first I'm just going to add a S curve contrast And then I'm going to do this for each colors. Okay. And then I'm going to add, I'm going to up the exposure a little bit. little contrast, bring down the highlights a little bit, bring out the shadows. So before, after, we're already getting somewhere, and the whites. I like that. I think I'll put this down a little bit to add some contrast so it's not so flat. And then this is like one of the most important steps to make to get this kind of look. You're going to want to add some warmth in there. And now, for this look, I like to put this down, kind of makes it look more like autumn, and then the desaturation. And then a little bit of luminance. And then this is all uh, the yellows, I like to bring them into the orange side and then desaturate. So without this, it stays like this, and then you add this, and it really gives it that warm autumn vibe. And then I'm gonna add luminance. All right, let's look at the before and after. This one looks a little different. I think I need to desaturate it more. Yeah. And add some warmth. Pretty close. Also, what I like to do is Just get these hot a little bit.
So yeah, that's pretty much it. So this is before and after. So basically the key is to underexpose your picture while taking it, add some warmth, and then you're going to play around with these color slides, the hue slides, and the color mixer. The yellow and the greens go to the left. And we can look at this one too. So before and after. So for this one, also underexpose this one. So we'll bring up the exposure. And then can't forget the optics scene. Go down. Okay. And so we're going to add these little curves. And obviously, if you were editing all these at once, you would make a little preset so that you don't have to keep doing this over and over again. So for this picture, I would have to bring out the shadows down, highlights, contrast, and the sky is looking a little blown out too much, so I'm going to do a brush tool and mask this area. It's subtle, but now you can see some more detail right here. Okay, the whites. All right, now we're going to add some warmth. Put the yellow towards the orange side, desaturate them. Put the green towards the left, and then desaturate that as well. And then I think we need to add a little bit more warmth. this little back and then luminance okay and let's look at that compared to the final one all right it looks like this is a little blown out too much so let me go back to that mask select it and then bring it down even more Maybe the exposure a little bit. Okay. Looks a little bit more close to that. Alright, so now we can... I think I'm going to add a little bit of exposure to her face. And then... Blemishes just a little bit. And this is how I edit this part. Just brown eyes, so I like to add warmth to. So for eyes, I up the exposure and the warmth. For brown eyes and then for the teeth we're gonna just bring the saturation down a little bit just subtle changes and then for under the eyes I like to add a little bit of exposure up just to brighten it up, and right here, and right here, okay. 
part. And then we can also look at this one. So this one needs a crop because this looks a little awkward. That's close enough. Then put the exposure on. Well, first we have to do the optic. And then we're going to add the curves. The contrast. And we'll put the exposure up, highlights down, shadows out, put this all down. I really like this little silhouette. Put the blacks down a little bit to more contrast. Alright, so warmth and we're going to do the same thing we did for all of them And I'm going to do some masking. I'm going to bring the highlights down. A little more. It's better. And then I'm going to add another one with the exposure right here. Just love these little golden accents everywhere with the little trees and all. So yeah, basically that's how I went from this to this. And then this one went from that to that. And lastly, this picture turned out like this so thanks for watching and i hope you all have a great day